And the other thing is, I think it should be floods, not flooding. See what you can do with these eyes, will you? Yeah. The bag's like Yoda's ball sack. Hi, I'm Joanna Haig, Emeritus Professor of Atmospheric Physics at Imperial College London. Hi, I'm Jonathan Pye, news reporter, and my main field of expertise is probably sarcasm. For over 10,000 years, the concentration of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere has been very steady at around 270 parts per million. Humans have thrived and our entire civilization has developed under these very stable conditions. Translation, when we got this planet, it was in pretty good nick. I think we're about to get told off. Recently, however, human activity has caused a very steep rise in CO2 levels, which has produced a sharp increase in global temperature. The Earth has undergone temperature changes before, but this is at approximately 10 times previous natural rates, which is unprecedented and uncharted territory. So, this axis represents time, and this axis represents how fucked we are. The full impacts will take decades to be felt, but many are happening right now. We're seeing extreme events almost everywhere, from record-breaking heat waves to extreme droughts, wildfires, storms and flash floods, even in traditionally temperate climates. I don't know about you, but I liked it when the weather was the boring bit at the end of the news, not the big scary headline at the start of it. Some aspects of the climate are changing far quicker than predicted. In particular, the regions with the most ice are heating up very fast, Siberia, the Antarctic, the Arctic. I thought the shit was supposed to hit the fan later, you know, for our kids and grandkids to deal with, but it's hitting the fan already, and we're all going to get covered in shit. There are also potentially dangerous feedbacks that, if we reach various tipping points, could push our world into a period of runaway warming that we could do nothing about. Us humans have been perched on a fairly calm globe so far, but we're about to flick it to bucking bronco mode to see if we can hang on. For example, satellite data has revealed increasing ice loss in Greenland and West Antarctic ice sheets, which might be irreversible beyond two degrees warming. This could raise sea levels by more than 10 metres, which would inundate many coastal cities and create hundreds of millions of refugees. Hundreds of millions? Fuck. That shouldn't cause any international political issues or major civil wars. The Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change calculates that we need to halve emissions by 2030. We have the technology to do it and prevent the worst outcomes. This is what we need to do, but this is what we're doing instead. Imagine that! By some incredible miracle, we can still save ourselves. But will we? Will we bollocks? Historically, fossil fuels are responsible for about two-thirds of emissions, but the fossil fuel industry lobbies strongly against cuts. In fact, it's getting governments to grant new licenses for even more exploration, more oil and gas. When you're in a hole, stop digging. That's the proverb. Not dig even more to maximise profits until the whole planet is fucked and you can go live in your bunker. Now is the time to act and to make your voice heard. It's up to each of us what we do. Go see your MP, go on a protest, boycott your bank if they fund oil and gas. But at this point, we all need to do something. This is not going to fix itself and recycling into the right bin is not going to do the trick either. We all need to pipe up now or basically regret it. Forever. What did you think of my translation then? Spot on. Thank you. Do you have any optimism? I have to have optimism because because if, <laughs> if you if <laughs> you if you don't have optimism, then then you won't do anything about it, and then then we really are your F word. Fucked. Yes. The most important thing you can do is talk to the politicians and the people who are in the positions of power that can actually do the legislation and make things happen at large scale, because otherwise it's not going to make any difference. Okay.